We're here because Crosstown Engines is here. Last year, we met some engine rebuilders in Toronto, and I got in the way for a while. Well, at the Toronto Boat Show this year, a few of you told me you wanted to see an even deeper dive into the process of engine rebuilding. So today, I'm back to get in the way again. Okay, great. Yep, your engine's ready for pickup. Thank you. Have a good day. Hey, Lou. Hey, Steve. How you doing, man? Good, buddy. How you been? Excellent, excellent. I was going to say, are you busy, but <laughs> yeah, it well, looks like you have, like, what is it, a huge order? No, these are our most popular engines that we do. We 4.3s, 5 liters, 5.7s, 7.4, 8.1s. We try and prepare them so when customers do place the order, we'll have them ready for them in the middle of the season. We got diesel engines. We got two um, Volvo Pentas from the OPP that we're rebuilding them right now. And at the same time, I got a 1966 327, the reverse rotation that we're rebuilding right now. Really? Like in the shop? Yeah. Can I see that? Yeah, sure. Come on in. Wicked. 1966, you said? Yeah, this is a 1966 327 Chris Craft. It's a uh, reverse rotation engine. The customer has brought it in from Windsor for us to rebuild it. It's not just here in the Toronto area where you're based. You'll anywhere in the country, right? Yep, we ship all over Canada. What's Jimmy rotating over there? What's He's this? Balancing a crankshaft. Oh, really? Yeah. We'll show you what we do here. Hey, buddy. Hey, Steve. How are you? Good. How are you? Excellent. Uh, what's this witchcraft? Well, the witchcraft is this is a <laughs> computerized engine balancer. From the factory, they get it fairly close, but when we get it, we customize all the cranks and we get them right on. You do it for every marine engine? Every marine engine gets a custom balance. So why is that so important? It's for vibration purposes. Oh. Yeah. So when I put this crank on originally, it was out 27 grams. And from the factory, they're OK with that. But we get it down to 2 grams, 1 gram. We'll get it right down. So I can spin it for you right now. Like I said, it was 27 grams out before. If I spin it, yeah, she should get up to just around 500 RPM spin. And now I'm out 2 grams on one side five on the other, oh. so I'm close. So this is your ice cream machine? Not even <laughs> close, <laughs> this is a honing machine. Ice cream hones. <laughs> <laughs> ba boom. We bore first, we deck, and then we micro hone. This is what we're gonna be doing now to fit the pistons exactly to the size of the block. When you say micro hone, like how, how micro are we talking? Like oh, this? it's even an tenth of a thou. Really? It's, let's take for instance a, a newspaper is let's say 15 thou thick. Right. We get it with one fifteenth of that. Oh, the tolerances are ridiculous. All right, I've already set up. Just put the go button. The automatic fluid comes on, owns the cylinder. Yeah. And here you see on the screen right here, this is the actual cylinder right here. See how it's big at the bottom? Right. Smaller at the top. So the machine will actually correct itself, dwell at the top to take more material off from there. That's so cool, yeah, you can see it. It'll straighten out by the time it gets to here. We're taking about three and a half thou off, and it'll straighten itself up by the time we get to the end. All eight are gonna be the same setup, right? So once all you have it, yeah, all set exactly it and forget it? Set it and forget <laughs> it. I can go get a coffee after that. Then we can move this to the next hole, and then we're done. I think we finally found the job that I would be qualified for. <laughs> you set it up, <laughs> and I'll just move it along. Everything else in here, boom, this. <laughs> Not saying anything, but it's idiot proof. <laughs> <laughs> what witchcraft is this? Well, this is a resurfacing machine. So what we do to all the blocks and all the cylinder heads is we resurface them, give them a flat surface with the head gasket can be sandwiched in between zero tolerance. So is this something you do if there's problems, or is this like the balancing that you do for everyone? This is automatic. Every block gets decked. And every cylinder head gets machined as well to make that mating surface. Wow. What do you guys overlook here? You seem to be very meticulous. I'm gonna find something by the end of it. Oh my Shoe God. Shoelaces untied. No, not even. Taught by their dad who started this business, the Mangov boys have literally spent their lives around engines. And while this is all way over my head, it means an engine issue, even a serious one, does not have to be a death sentence for your boat.